here the question is for the circuit shown below find out the steady state power limit when switch is closed right so a single line diagram is given here right with all reactances and the generation voltage is 1.2 per unit and the infinite bus voltage is 1 per unit he is given right and he is saying that the switch is closed that means what now this is closed that means here there is a connection right for this problem first we have to go for an equivalent circuit right that is the first step that means generally this diagram is known as an impedance diagram but anyway here the resistance is not given that's why the impedance diagram is nothing but here a reactance diagram but we have to mention the voltage values in reactance diagram generally we will not mention the voltage values we will short circuit the voltage uh, sources but here we have to mention the voltage values right so the inf this is an infinite bus right now we have to draw the diagram so this is a synchronous generator and the equivalent circuit will be something like this this will be xd and the voltage is 1.2 per unit here and the xd is given that is 0.55 per unit and then uh, the transformer the transformer reactance is j 0.15 per unit and then j 0.36 this will be line 0.36 per unit and then there is a switch is closed here right this will be j 0.4 per unit and after that here j 0.3 per unit and infinite bus so infinite bus also we treat it as an voltage source so this will be again plus minus we take one per unit now he is asking for what will be the uh, steady state uh, power uh, the steady state power limit when the switch is closed right now what is meaning of steady state power limit a steady state power limit is nothing but generally the equation of a power is uh, v1 v2 by x sin delta where x is the the transfer reactance the remember the term transfer reactance x is nothing but transfer reactance that means what if you have a two voltage sources and in between the reactance is called x that reactance is called x is also called transfer reactance now your voltage source is v1 v1 is 1.2 per unit and v2 is 1 per unit now x is the transfer reactant that we have to find out from this problem but the important thing is what is the steady state power limit the steady state power limit is defined when delta equal to 90 degrees that means the steady state power limit is nothing but a maximum power that can be delivered to the infinite bus the maximum power that can be delivered is the, the maximum power uh, from the synchronous generator is possible only when delta equal to 90 degrees because if you derive this with respect to delta and equal to 0 we will get delta equal to 90 degrees so if you substitute delta equal to 90 degrees then we can we will get out p maximum this is also called steady state power limit that will be v1 v2 by x we know that v1 is 1.2 per unit and v2 is 1 per unit the important thing is uh, important thing is here we have to find out what is the reactance x right so this is not the uh, same procedure as we found in the fault impedance because there we find out the equivalent impedance between the fault point but here we have to find out the transfer impedance these two are entirely different the people will confuse here they will uh, substitute in case of fault impedance uh, transfer impedance and uh, they will substitute in case of transfer impedance fault impedance but that is wrong so we are here we have to find out transfer impedance that means what so here these three reactants are connected in series directly we know and here this is only one reactance if you find out the equivalent reactance between these three is so i am drawing uh, a network that will be one reactance and one reactance here and another reactance is here this will be the equivalent circuit so this will be uh, approximately uh, 0 0.55 plus uh, 0 0.15 0 0.7 and 0 0.36 that means 0 0.106 i mean 1.06 so this is 1.06 per unit and this will be 0 0.3 per unit and this will be 0 0.4 per unit now we have to find out the transfer impedance the transfer impedance is the impedance connected between this point and this point so if you want to get that we have to convert this star into a delta but the important is here we have to find out this impedance not this and this impedance because if you find out this impedance that will be directly in parallel with the voltage source so that's why you can neglect that and if you find out this impedance that will be in parallel with the voltage which again you can neglect that impedance. so we have to find out this reactance and this reactance will be okay if you find out if you convert star to delta and if you find out the reactance and that reactance would be xt and that is equal to uh, 0 0.85 per unit after getting this 
the trans the maximum power delivered is p max that we can form p max equal to, uh, v1 v2 1.2 into v1 v2 is 1 divided by 0.585 so if you solve this what we will get is the maximum power that can be delivered to the infinite bus path this is also called as a steady state power limit of a network and this will be equal to uh, point uh, sorry point uh, 585 per unit so actually here uh, we'll get uh, sorry here uh, we'll get the transfer reactance is 2.05 per unit if we solve we'll get uh, 2.05 per unit so we have to substitute here 2.05 so finally we'll get um, the transfer i mean uh, the steady state power delivered is uh, uh, approximately 0.585 per unit so what is the option so the option will be here b so in this way we have to solve so here you have got the thing is we have to find out the transfer impedance question is a 430 kv three phase single circuit bundle conductor with two subconductors per phase the center to center uh, the center to center between adjacent conductors is uh, 10 meters and a distance between the subconductors of a phase is 40 centimeters and the radius of each subconductor is 1.2 centimeters and find out the capacitance per phase per kilometers the question is looking very big but the answer is very simple right so we know that the formula for uh, capacitance is i mean the capacitance per phase i am saying the capacitance per phase is 2 phi epsilon naught by ln uh, ln um, gmd i am saying gmd by gmr gmr this will be uh, farads per meter so the here it will be farad per meter and the important thing is the units what are the units we have to follow that is very important that will be farad per meter right now if you observe the the diagram for the conductors how these are it is a bundle conductor and first we have to know what is a bundle conductor a bundle conductor is a conductor it consisting of more than one conductors per a phase now this is r phase and this is y phase if this is a b phase now if you observe this here he is mentioned that two subconductors per phase so that's why here we are drawing two subconductors and also he is mentioned that the adjacent between uh, adjacent distance between two conductors this will be center to center this will be the center and center that is 10 meters so obviously this will be also uh, 10 meters this is 20 meters and also the distance between this also is given uh, how much this and this is uh, around uh, 40 centimeters 40 centimeters or also 40 into 10 power minus 2 meters because so these are these two are in meters that's why i'm converting this also in meters now the radius of the conductor the radius r is given that is 1.2 into 10 power minus 2 right so for finding the gmd here we know that the formula for gmd here in simple manner under root of s1 s2 and s3 that this is s1 and uh, this is s2 and this is s3 right that means what here the bundling the phenomena is called bundling the bundling is neglected for finding the geometrical mean distance but bundling we have to consider for finding the geometrical mean radius for mean radius we have to consider the uh, bundling effect but for finding the geometrical mean distance we don't we don't need to consider the bundling effect that will not make any difference so that's why i'm neglecting the bundling effect that means if you consider the bundling effect first you have to find out the gmd1 and gmd2 and gmd3 that means what gmd means gmd1 means what from here to here distance and here to here distance and here to here that means it is a big procedure so that's why so we, we have a shortcut formula that means we can neglect the bundling here so that means s1 is 10 and s2 is also 10 and s3 is 20 so this is our gmd now coming to gmr the gmr is simply under root of the radius is 1.2 and the distance is 4. I mean 40 centimeters that means 1.2 multiplied by 40 into 10 power minus 4 so if you solve this from the substitution if you substitute this in the equation then we will get uh, the form uh, then we will get the value of uh, the capacitance is 0 0.011 uh, times uh, 10 power uh, minus 
9. This is farad per meters. So then we can write this uh, 0 0.011 into this uh, farad means microfarad. Microfarad means 10 power minus 6 is gone. So microfarad by meters means you can write kilometer. Then again 10 power minus 3 is also gone. So finally we will get 0 0.011 microfarad per kilometer. So we have to go for which option? And the option is here uh, microfarad C. Option C is here. Right. 